So here I make some uh, super capacitor. Uh, here I have ready my negative electrode. This super capacitor will be some hybrid super capacitor. And uh, right now I measure uh, the grams of active material for the positive electrode. So here I have my active material for the positive electrode is uh, some manganese dioxide. with a little of carbon. So the negative, I mean on the negative current collector, uh, the current collector is uh, this uh, graphite foil. Uh, on the negative I have uh, this uh, carbon. So these two electrodes uh, will be uh, binder free, so I don't use any binder to stick on the surface, but in your case you can add some more, I mean uh, you can add some binder if you want, but in my case I will not use it. I can also make some uh, paint out from this, but uh, I like more like this slurry style. But also you can make this paint, uh, I mean this active material like uh, paint and you can paint surface. Okay, that's it. Here I have also ready some electrolyte, which is some uh, combination of uh, sodium sulfate uh, with 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 uh, potassium uh, potassium sulfate. My separator, which is some normal paper. really nice so this is the positive electrode I mark it also that I don't I know that this one is the positive because this is not some symmetrical uh, supercapacitor but is some uh, hybrid uh, I mean, some asymmetrical super ca uh, super cap. Yeah, 
And now we have a cell ready to test. So I connected uh, this cell uh, to the powers, I mean to, to my multimeter, uh, electronic load and the power supply. So right now uh, this super cap is not uh, charged, but right now I get uh, 0 0.45 volts. Uh, this hybrid manganese hybrid uh, supercapacitor I will charge with 2.1 uh, volts and I need to wait a little bit that this super cap will be fully charged and then I will uh, discharge this supercapacitor with electronic load. So, like I said, right now I charge this uh, little cell. Uh, so, in basic, which, which manganese dogs that I use, I use this uh, active material from uh, carbon zinc batteries. I just put out uh, the active material from carbon zinc battery, wash it uh, three to four times. Uh, and then I use in this supercapacitor. The electrolyte is two teaspoons of sodium sulfate and one teaspoon of of uh, potassium of potassium sulfate. So this cell take a little bit to fully charge. Uh, I mean I will not fully charge. Because right now I still have 30, uh, 30 milliamps on my power supply. You see? The voltage right now is 2.1 volts. Uh, the voltage of this cell is around 2 to 1.9 volts. So in basic this is just some quick video because uh, first of all I was not planning to do video on this one. Uh, but yeah, then I decided that I will share with you why not. For the battery community. Okay, almost. We are on 20 milliamps right now. I think this will be enough. And now I will start uh, the electronic load. I discharge this cell uh, with 30 milliamps and yeah we will see what we will get. Uh, the capacity of this supercapacitor I get 6, uh, six milliamp hours per gram of uh, manganese dioxide like activated car uh, like active material. So uh, you can experiment with this type of supercapacitor if you want uh, and yeah we see us in the next video bye